The Canada Science and Technology Museum French, Musée des Sciences et de la Technologie du Canada is located in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, on St. Laurent Boulevard, to the south of the Queensway Highway 417. The role of the museum is to help the public to understand the technological and scientific history of Canada and the ongoing relationships between science, technology and Canadian society. History Founding The National Museum of Science and Technology was established in 1967 as a centennial project by the Canadian government. In October 1966 the government appointed David McCurdy Baird as the first director of the museum, because it was intended that the museum would open during the centennial year. Baird's first task was to find an existing building that could be repurposed without delay to house the museum. He found and arranged the purchase of a large former bakery on St. Laurent Boulevard with truck bays and high ceilings. The government already had an aeronautical collection and a collection of railroad artifacts, and within a few months these were installed in the building. A collection of farm equipment from Massey Ferguson arrived soon after. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposed new locations. In 2001, the museum began looking for a new location to move to, citing a lack of space and accessibility. The desire for more scenic surroundings was also a factor, as the museum is currently surrounded mostly by warehouses and strip malls. Four locations were considered, the western section of Lebreton Flats, on the Rockcliffe Parkway next to the Canada Aviation and Space Museum both in Ottawa, in Jacques Cartier Park on Rue Laurier, and a site on Rue Montcalm both in the neighbouring city of Gatineau. In 2006, Conservative Cabinet Minister and MP for Pontiac which includes the eastern tip of Gatineau Lawrence Cannon put his support behind the Jacques Cartier Park option. Topic 2014 to 2017 closure. During routine maintenance on a leaky roof in September 2014, workers discovered that the roof was in danger of collapse and that mold was spreading from the building's south wall. The museum closed to visitors, and the staff offered to lend out some of the exhibits to other museums while renovation and repairs were made to the building. Most of the original building was demolished, leaving only the crazy kitchen and the hall of trains. $80 million was spent to create a modern replacement on the same site. The museum reopened on November 17, 2017. Topic. Facilities, collections and displays Topic. Main building The main museum building on St. Laurent Boulevard houses a number of permanent displays, as well as temporary exhibits of the museum's collection and visiting exhibitions. The most famous and oldest of these exhibitions is the Crazy Kitchen, a room that is built on a tilted surface, thus causing gravity to pull visitors towards the wall, but has all its furniture nailed to the floor so they won't fall, thus creating the illusion that the room is on an ordinary, flat surface. This competing information confuses visitors' brains which makes them feel nauseous. Artifact Alley, which runs diagonally across the building, displays about 700 historical objects at any one time. Topic: Collections Conservation Center. 
The Ingenium Storage Facility, located at 1867 St. Laurent Boulevard, it includes more than over 268,000 artifacts, such as a prototype for the Bombardier Anovia Art 100, a driverless rail car CA, 1982, an iron lung once used at the Ottawa Civic Hospital CA, 1950, and the FIU 301, and the Ontario Provincial Police's first unmanned aerial vehicle 5 to 2007 topic governance the museum is operated by ingenium a crown corporation that reports to the department of canadian heritage which is responsible for preserving and protecting canada's scientific and technical heritage the corporation has a staff of about 275 and is responsible for three museums, the Canada Science and Technology Museum, the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum and the Canada Aviation and Space Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Affiliations The museum is affiliated with, Canadian Museums Association CMA, Canadian Heritage Information Network CHIN, and Virtual Museum of Canada. See also Canadian University Scientific Research Organizations Canadian Industrial Research and Development Organizations Technological and Industrial History of Canada Natural Scientific Research in Canada Canada Lunar Sample Displays Invention in Canada Notes Topic External Links Official Website CSTM Origins, a history of the Canada Science and Technology Museum, Canada Science and Technology Museum at Google Cultural Institute.